Hi there, welcome to Bustanet. On today's show, we're going to do a quick guide on mentality. What I'm going to do is explain what it is, what it does to your tactic, and how it influences the way your players play in a game. And before I begin, I'd like to thank all my patrons for generously donating to keep this channel going. And I've responded by doing quick videos which answer some of your questions. And I hope that this can help many people out there. These are all naturally topics that I've covered in my book, Bust the Net, the Football Manager's Guide, and you can find more information there. Here we are on the Tactical Creator screen where we have seven little tabs on top. They range from Contain to Overload, and they all aim to tell you the different levels of mentality that you can choose. This is SI's description, and over here you can always check this out. Do you know that in the last eight years I've never read this? Nah. I don't read what contain, defensive, counter, standard, control, attacking, and overload mean because the meaning down here makes no sense to me. Why? As I created these mentalities to work in conjunction with a few things in the game. The basic definition of the game is not very good as it seems to imply that each mentality should create one style in the game. That can't be further from the truth. The thing is mentality defines everything about how your team plays. The first thing you need to know is that a mentality essentially affects how much risk a team is willing to take to score goals. The lower the mentality, the less risk they are willing to accept and the higher it is, the more chances they will try to take to score a goal. Because when you look at a tactical creator, every time you adjust mentality, it affects several things. It will affect tempo, width, passing direction, time wasting, defensive line and closing down. So whenever you increase mentality, you will change all of these. Let me show you. Okay, so here we have mentality affecting so many things. The thing about the way I create my systems, and you find that out in my book, is that I actually remove, think of mentality only in terms of risk how much risk uh, is a player willing to take. Then what I do is I will leave certain players, you know, at the risky end, let them make the decisions on their own. When they're playing further up the pitch, I need them to be creative. I need them to take more chances. Okay, fine. You guys, you stay on that kind of uh, attitude, you know, take the more risk route with attacking. But what about the guys at the back? Maybe, you know, do you want them to be taking a lot of risk? Because if these guys can't find a pass, the mentality here is going to tell them, it's going to affect their passing directness, it's going to affect everything that they do and the choices that they make. So what can you do? This is what I do. I remove few risky passes from them so they don't take so much risk now. And then if I want to make sure that their passing isn't affected by mentality changes, I go to short passing. Then maybe because at higher mentality, the player might think, okay, you know, maybe I should take these guys on. I want to dribble a bit more. So I tell them dribble less. All right, done. That's it. Okay, what have I done here? I've taken this guy who was on a team mentality setting of attacking and told him, I don't want you to take risks. I want you to play simple football, get the ball to players who are much better at you than at passing the ball. I decide to play one style of football. Then I put less risky passes on players. I don't want them to waste their passes. So what, do I, what does this mean for me? So whenever I make a mentality change now, it's just a risk appetite. So uh, this means that on defensive mentality, my players will you know, keep the ball a lot more. Possession numbers will go up. They won't take a lot of risks. Then if I want them to take a bit more risks, you know, open play up a bit, you know, try more chances, then I go on attacking. But guess what? Because I've locked up some of my players into fewer risky passes, even on higher mentality settings, they will still play pass it short. They will still take fewer risky passes. The team as a whole plays with higher mentality, but these guys, they're not going to waste, um, take, try true balls from the back. If I were to leave it on these settings and not make these changes, what's going to happen is even these guys is, are going to be affected by mentality changes. So by doing it my way, and I make super systems. So all I need to do in a game is then, hmm, I want to get a goal. This is getting very annoying. So I just change mentality. Okay, I need to throw more players into attack. I need more players getting involved. I change fluid. I change shape. That's that easy. Some of the readers of my book, they're really awesome. So what they did was 
they actually came to me with a suggestion and they went and did a language pack for me. So they've got one language pack, pack called Bustonet English. You can find this on Steam. Uh, the links are in the description below. So once you load that up language pack, it's only available in English. Uh, this will change. It's no longer mentality, it now says risk. Then you get seven tabs with different levels of risk. And then if you go to the TEC, you'll see the same stuff over there, which makes, to me, it makes more sense. Um, it's just a, a risk appetite right now. And the team will be playing with a higher risk. Since it is really a risk barometer, then I can just change what I feel like changing in a game. Unfortunately for my friend who made this uh, language pack, I probably won't be able to use it. It'll confuse everybody who's not used the language pack, but I will interchange. I'll use it when you're not watching. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this um, video on uh, mentality. If you have any questions, you know, you can find me at addicted2fm.com or you can look, search me on Twitter at Bustanet. There are links uh, to uh, my Patron page at the bottom in the description. And you can also find out how you can get uh, custom views and all the other stuff from the Steam Workshop. Or for my Patron users, you have a direct link. So I hope to hear from you guys again soon. You take care and have a good one. Bye-bye. Before I get down to business, I want to thank my Patron users who have uh, generously donated to keep this channel going. Um, if you want more information, why don't I just make it longer, idiot? First, before <clears throat> before I begin, I want to thank all my Patron users for... Do before I begin, I'd like to thank all my Patron users for supporting this channel by their generous donations to keep me going. and. You will find out more information on mentality and everything else on this um, aspect. <laughs> you stupid fool. Okay. All right. Why don't I ever write this shit down? No, I'm a superstar. I don't need scripts, idiot. Okay. All right. <clears throat> oh, my bank. I'm getting too old for this shit. Okay. Before I begin, I'd like to thank all my Patron users for generously donating to help keep this channel going. And for you guys, I've done this special video and I'm going to be doing a lot more based on my book, um, Football Manager Guide. I don't even know the name of my book. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Get it right, you stupid monk.